the final training session out of the way ahead of tomorrow. How's the squad shaping up? Good. No, they have trained well. Um, been good fettle. We're on a good run. Can't wait for the game. When you go back to the, the last two games that you've had, what's pleased you most of these two games? Has it been the sort of the, the game management and the way the players have, have kept those clean sheets considering they've not, they've not been at the best attacking wise? Yeah. Um, clean sheets, massive in it, you know. Um, we've done well at it, you know, if we can keep that going, gives us a chance in any game. Um, so yeah, just pleased, two clean sheets, obviously two wins um, going into the this big game at the weekend. Does it help in any way that you've, you've got so less to travel this week, given that you've had two home games, now it's a short trip down the road? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so um, we're only going up the road, so the preparation's been good. So we, we just can't wait to play now. It's uh, We know uh, how important it is to the club and the supporters and uh, the players and the staff. So uh, we were expecting a tough game. They're a good side. And, um, you know, but you know, so should they be expecting a tough game because because we're not bad either. So, um, as I said, the lads are in good fettle, They've trained ever so well. We're on the back of two two wins on the trot, two clean sheets, and uh, we go there full of confidence. We know the form of the team is in. It's probably summed up by players like Polly and playing in different positions and still doing an absolute job for the team. Well, he was superb the other night, wasn't he? Um, so we, you know, we, we know that with Ollie, and we can stick him in the midfield as well, and he, and he just gets on with it. He is a great pro and a hell of a player. So. That's it, the other side is looking more settled now and um, and we've got one or two who can play in different positions and um, there's one or two different things we can do which we worked on when we had the free week. Um, so now it's exciting. Pleased to see that Armand steps up and, and finding the net consistently. Yeah, really pleased for Armand. He's, you know, he is, he deserves yeah, all the credit. He did do well at the end of last season, there's no, no doubt in that and um, he's carried it on. Obviously, when you listen to a lot of managers after games at the moment, they're all mentioning the size of the, of the Blackpool Blackpool team. It's obviously a big compliment, isn't it, that they're spotting sort of the strengths of the side? Yes, the Scunthorpe manager was very complimentary after the game. Uh, that we were good, good players, quick, strong, big, bit of football, mix it up. So you know, we have, and we can do that if we want to, and, and we will do. Um, but no, this game's a derby game, and... Uh, Form goes out the window really, and uh, we've got to turn up and, and make sure we produce a performance. Yeah, it's obviously an eleven match, unbeaten run in the league, but that's sort of guarding against any sort of complacency, isn't it? What's what's going to be the key to this game? I think the key to this game is um, you know it's going to be a fight first. You know, it's going to be competitive, I'm sure, and uh, and you've got to win your, your individual battles, and and then you know you've got to play. Simple as that. When, when we get the chance to, we've got to play, and as I say, no, don't concede. You know, it'll give us a chance and uh, and we'll see. I think whatever happens, I think our lads will give a right good go.